Hi everyone, this is Leafy Junkie, another video. And this time I will be separating the youngest plant from this pot, which is the snake plant, also known as mother in law tongue. And this one it's uh, been growing for the last seven months. And first of all, I've noticed it, it was this, probably this size. Um, I will put a picture somewhere in the video and then three months later it was this height and it is all it's like um, a yellow or bright green color and now it's um, looking like an adult plant um, which is a seven month old like I said um, I don't have the exact date but I've decided today that I'm going to separate it in a different part so let's take it out from here what I would need to do first is loosen up the pot and slowly take it out all I need to um, separate is the this one really so I'm just gonna gently it seems kind of tough actually uh, the soil is very very light I'm not sure how I'm gonna separate this one so I'm just gonna get rid of the soil and see what's underneath um okay that one just separated easily okay oh sugar and ah i didn't realize there's like two different ones this one is attached to this one um okay this might be a tricky one because I thought it sep it grew separate from the mother plant. But from what I can see I'm oh sorry the soil is everywhere. It's on me. Um it's actually attached. So I don't know, maybe I would just separate them like this rather than taking that risk of cutting it from the original plant which I'm, I'm a bit wary I don't want to kill it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up like three separate ones I would just use the same soil here and put that back in and then just and so I'm gonna use the bottom part and then I'm gonna add like a um, house plant soil it's got some perlite just put it on top so I'm gonna mix it Just give it a bit of a top on the side so the soil will be even out in the pot. Yeah. And push it a little to secure it. Um, it's got some browning here. I, I, I assume that's from like the brightness coming in, it hits it directly. Um, Oh, and uh, another thing I could think of is maybe because this is the oldest leaf hence it's like that and the sun will be fading away and giving more weight to the new ones and I'm gonna add more soil on top 
just like that uh, so really this is what this is not what I was thinking of doing I thought I'm gonna be separating the new one but I can't take that risk of cutting it from the main plant and it probably end up killing both of them and we don't want to do that so I will put back the first one to the original part and then I'm gonna use the remaining of the soil to put underneath in the pot the bottom Uh, I'll show you as well this one so from this one this is the latest the youngest plant and it's again it's attached to the main one and I don't want to cut it I'm scared of like killing the whole thing so let's just do the same okay Actually, a bit more soil. And then maybe one day you'll have more pups shooting out, popping, popping up, I uh, don't know, uh, from the soil. They said this is hard to kill and um, that's not actually 100% true it is down to how you look up to it as well because from my experience the first one I had I managed to kill it um, obviously I was uh, quite new to the hobby I didn't know what I was doing fully um, I watered it quite a lot and it drowned, started to rot and it died in the end. So it doesn't really need much water. Just making sure the soil is I miss I missed the soil on top. And probably just water this every fortnight. And just like other plants, autumn winter time. You don't need to water it that much so just keeping eye on um, the soil you know and just using your fingers and kind of putting under the soil and about an inch or two you know whether it's dry or wet and you know when to water it I'll use the second half I will not show you the third one because I'll be just doing the same thing, putting it in another pot. I just wanted to share that um, me. This is a type of propagation, it's just separating the plant. The other propagation was a cutting of the leaf, and then I think you use like a uh, rooting powder uh, some people I don't think they use uh, they're just really lucky and they just put it on in, in the soil and in time it will grow some roots and then they grow for them but for me when I tried that last year I was unsuccessful so I when I cut like my old snake plant and it all just died it didn't actually grow 
So I just lost it and decided to get this one. But it's been just over, I don't think it's like 8 or 9 months uh, when I first got this plant. So I feel like it's time that I propagated it as to give it like space and like I said hopefully it will uh, produce more pups in the future and we can have more plants uh, multiplying rather than buying new ones and um, so yeah I will update you then in the next three months how these are doing whether we got new ones I you know growing around in the pot and um, yeah and thanks for watching and um, please click the subscribe button and sorry and that the, hit the like button as well if you like this and um, thanks for watching